high, high. Have you ever seen those pictures of uh, like uh, mice <laughs> or the dust mites or something weird like that? I mean, uh, with a natural eye, you cannot see these things, but the, once in a while you see like a carpet cleaning commercial or something like that, and then they zoom in on these uh, dust mites. And oh dear, if you ever get a glimpse of these creatures, and they're so small that you can't see them, oh man, boy is that a good sales technique to show you this repulsive thing, okay? They show you this disgusting bug. I mean, it is so sick. It's like your worst nightmare of a bug, okay? A bug in your house is gross enough. A potato bug in your house is not the most pleasant thing ever. Cockroach, probably ruin your day. But then you think about these hideous, hideous, satanic little creatures. They're so ugly. Satanic is a little overboard, sorry. Anyways, they're, they're all absolutely disgusting, okay? Bugs are gross. These are the epitome of gross, okay? They're so gross. So they show you the magnified view of the dust mites. And so it makes you say, ah! It makes you really want to do something about it. That makes sense? First, you didn't even have a clue that they were there because you couldn't see them. And uh, you thought there might be an issue or someone came along and said, hey, how you doing? Knock on your door. Hey, I'd like to clean your carpets. Oh, no thanks, I'm good. Oh, well, let me, can I show you something? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vacuum in your floor. I'm gonna put this stuff into a magnifying glass, let you look at it. And so you can see how disgusting this stuff really is. I know you can't see it now, but after I put it through this little magnifier, boy, oh boy, will you be able to see it loud and clear, okay? There's no sound, but it's so gross. You'll hear it in like HD, THX sound system with no sound at all. That's how gross this is gonna be. Loud and clear, you're gonna get the message, okay? You've got something in your carpet that you don't want there, and I'm gonna help you get it out. If you wanna, if you wanna pay the price. <laughs> if you can count the cost. All right. And, it, and then they go there, they show you, and they're like, Aah! now that is some scary stuff. You know, and they're just like, that's sick. I'll pay anything. Get that junk out, you know. And that's the same thing with the gospel, you know. Someone, they don't, they don't understand. You could talk to someone about their sin. They'll say, hey, 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 I'm not such a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy. But then you show them that you show them under the magnifying glass of the law, okay. God's law. It's where the law of God becomes a good thing. The Bible describes it. The uh, law is a good thing and a bad thing. In Galatians, it says it's bondage. In another place, it says it's the it's it's uh, the measuring stick to know that you're a sinner. You know, I wouldn't have even known I was, I was a sinner but by the law. I didn't know sin but by the law. But then we use the law of God, just like this uh, magnifying glass, to reflect. Now I can see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That's what it means to see with the eyes of the spirit. Woo! You know, big difference, you know. There's a way that seems is right to a man, but it continues to let the mites go on. Okay, God wants the He wants mite removal, okay? God's Holy Spirit is a mite removal kind of a, a system. It's a it's a purifying system. He saves you to, he saves to the uttermost and then he starts to purify the mites. He says, let me show you something. Let me make sure you understand why you need it. Okay, go ahead and try. I won't listen because I'm blah, blah, blah. <laughs> they already have all their defenses up like, please, I've been through this a thousand times. Well, you haven't been through this one. Let me show you the Holy Spirit, you know, and you start preaching about the holiness of God until the Holy Spirit starts to come in there and start to convict and prick the heart. And they start to see stuff that they never thought about before. And they start looking at themselves and God starts to show them. Do you see how selfish you were right there? Do you see how prideful you were right there? Do you see how careless you were right there? Do you see how unloving you were right there? Do you see how lustful you were right there? Do you see how ridiculous that was? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at all these mites. Disgusting. Ah, oh, gross. And it's just that gross. In the presence of the Holy Spirit, it is the most precious wooing presence there ever could be in this world is the wooing of the Holy Spirit and the lingering and the overshadowing 
and the hovering of the Holy Spirit in someone's soul, springing up wells of springs of living water. And you said, this is pure. This is life. This is real. And all these other mice have got to go. <laughs> Hallelujah.